is your girl Najwa. Welcome back to my channel. Please do me a favor. If you have not already, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and click the bell so you know whenever I post a video. Guys, we need to talk about Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez. Guys, okay. So this has been sort of, this, this video has been years in the making for me. Years, okay? And I know that in the past week, it's become a really trending topic to talk about Selena Gomez, Hailey Bieber, how Selena felt like she was, uh, you know, how Selena's fans, actually Selena did it, but Selena's fans, her guard dogs, felt like she was slighted by uh, Hailey Bieber and what's her name, um, Kylie Jenner. I know, like, I, I, that's, that's all I've been seeing all week, and I've been holding my tongue for a really long time, but this right here has been years in the making, because, I mean, I, I come from that, like, Gen Z, millennial, I'm sorry, millennial Gen Z, because I'm millennial, but I come from that generation of Disney Channel stars, Nickelodeon stars, and now that, you know, that generation is in their, like, early 30s, uh, you know, late 20s or whatever, we talk about these these child stars who have become, you know, like aficionados within their own respect, who have become influencers in their later life, we talk about them constantly. And I really think first, before I even get into what my feelings are on this whole situation, I think as a culture, we really need to address our problem of oversharing and overthinking. I mean, because Half of this stuff is not coming out of the mouth of Selena Gomez. It's not coming out of the mouth of Kylie Jenner. It's not coming out of the mouth of Hailey Bieber or Justin Bieber. Now, they might send out a tweet or they might post an Instagram story to say, oh, this wasn't that or this wasn't that. But the rest of the narrative literally just comes from our speculation, guys. Please get this under control. Like, people have a right to privacy. They have a right to speak with their own mouth about what's going on. I mean, everybody, to, like, people going and finding receipts on Twitter from 2011 and TikTok and stuff. I am so glad that we live in this day and age where that's even possible. I'm so glad that we have technology, the tools of technology at our disposal. But please don't let that replace common sense, guys. Please. I feel bad for Selena Gomez, but I also feel bad for Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber. I, I look at this whole situation and I feel bad for them. Imagine living your whole life with people talking about stuff that happened 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Imagine that. And imagine you, you saying one thing. Imagine you saying one plus one equals two. <laughs> imagine you saying one plus one equals two. And then people going and saying, yes, but the root of 37 is 14. To the 20, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, 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 no. Guys, I said one plus one is two. That's it. Just imagine that. Okay, so now that I've said that, I've got it out of the way, whatever. Let me just say my thoughts on this. Let me just say my thoughts on this. So Sloan recently did a video talking about how, you know, Hailey Bieber is totally obsessed with Selena Gomez. I love Sloan. Um, I also follow like Sebastian Soto. Those are my gays. <laughs> I follow um, Tisa Tells, you know, like just the general ones. KL Cool, I like her, but she's much more into the conspiracy theory stuff. And they've all been buzzing so much about Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez. Now, basically, for those of you who don't know, there's this theory going around out there that Hailey Bieber has long time been obsessed with Selena Gomez because in the very beginning, before Hailey Bieber even thought of getting together, or we assume she thought of getting together with Justin Bieber, Selena, um, she was following Selena on Twitter. She was saying these things about how much she loved her. She thought that she, uh, she and, and Justin were like the epitome of the perfect couple. And um, like she, she really seemed like a fan. She really just basically seemed like a fan of Selena Gomez, which we all had those days, right? I mean, I was looking, at, I mean, I'm listening to Barack Obama's uh, audio biography and uh, the, the recent one, A Promising Land. And he talks about how in his early campaigning days, how MySpace was a thing. 
I'm sorry. Like, my eyes are literally watering up. But, dude, you remember those days where MySpace was, like, a thing. And so I get that in 2011 that Hailey Bieber might have been on Twitter raving about Selena Gomez. Just think about the times, guys. But Justin Bieber chose to marry Hailey Bieber, okay? Whether that marriage ends in, you know, having bunch of kids and grandbabies and farm animals or whatever whether that ends in them separating whatever whatever the outcome of their marriage is that is who Justin Bieber is married to and that's who Hailey Bieber is married to and I feel like right now especially in America I mean I, I live in France so I feel like pop culture is a different thing here in France I feel like people really just take the time to respect people's privacy even if they're celebrities in the U.S., in the U.K., it just seems like the po the public population feels like they literally have the rights to just own these people just because they're public figures. And guys, it can't be that way. I'm I just I just want to be a voice of reason to come back here and say maybe let's not sit and try and assume a bunch of things from hodgepodging stuff together from ten years ago and all of that stuff. Unless you hear it out of the horse's mouth, like let's maybe just give Haley the chance to say what what her what her thing with Selena is. Let's let's give Selena a chance to say what her thing with Haley is. Let's give Justin a chance to say what his thing is with all of them. And you know, basically, I spoke in another video about Britney Spears and Sam Asghari, um, and how that's her husband. That's who she, who she chose, and the public really needs to just accept that and respect that. When someone marries someone, when someone chooses someone as their life partner, you have to accept that. And I feel like as a millennial, I'm actually writing a book right now about finding love as a millennial because it's so rare, you know? I, I feel like really we live in this day and age where we're really skeptical of love. We're really skeptical of marriage. And we're just skeptical in general. You can see the fact that people are going and digging and trying to find all this stuff, you know, that we just live in a, a day and age. It's like the Sherlock Holmes day and age where we just need to go and dig and find all this stuff. But we don't always take the time to necessarily, to necessarily hear what's going on from the camel's mouth, okay? And I spoke on Sam Asghari and Britney Spears. Something else that I think is happening is with child stars. You know, there is evidence that out there that, when you have, what's the gentlest way that I can put this? Like when you have traveled, not just traveled, but also cultivated your intellectual intelligence, you know, when you have studied, when you've gone to school, when you've gone to university or whatever, it really activates other parts of your brain. You know, it develops parts of your brain that necessarily aren't activated as much when you don't really push your neurons to just soak in this information and educate yourself. And what what's a common thread between Britney Spears, people like Britney Spears, like Selena Gomez, like Justin Bieber, like Hailey Bieber, um, I think even Justin Timberlake, I'm not sure. But I the common thread is that they, they didn't really get to A, have a childhood, nor did they really get to have an education. They didn't get to just go to university and, you know, drink <laughs> from literally 6 p.m. until 7.30 a.m. before their 8 a.m. class. You know, they didn't get to, um, you know, cram and study for tests for three days straight because, you know, they just had been partying the whole summer. They didn't get to meet people from um, all over the world, but with the same common goal to educate themselves. They didn't get that chance. And I, I really think that I think that that has has hindered them in certain ways. And so when I see, I, I don't want to sound like a snob. I really don't. Just let me finish. Like, let me get to it. This is where I'm coming from with this. I really think when you look at the celebrities who have been in the public eye, but they take the effort to go and educate themselves, they take the effort to go and get a degree, whatever that is, it really just, it, it it's it's like that that barrier between someone who's really struggling, whether it be with, you know, drugs and alcohol, whether it be someone who is, um, you know, just in the public eye doing a bunch of ratchet stuff. <laughs> ratchet, by the way, how, how like 2016 is that? I'm, I'm, I'm getting vintage over here. Um, 
look at that in comparison, basically, to the ones who dared to go out and explore the world of academia, who dared to go out and expand their minds. Now, I don't know. I don't know. That that could be reflective of the public. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to sit here and make assumptions, but maybe the people who are also so engulfed in this stuff and feel like they have the authority to speak on everything that's going on, the inner happenings of these people's lives, maybe they themselves also haven't haven't challenged themselves intellectually. Guys, turn turn off the TV. Put down TikTok from time to time. Put down Instagram and Facebook from time to time and pick up a book. Seriously, like just just stop hounding these celebrities. I know that it is so enticing. And I, I'm speaking from personal experience because even me, I I get on here and I talk about the stuff that I enjoy, you know, but I also talk about my life. I talk about my life experience. Don't ever let a celebrity consume your whole being, you know, take time to focus on yourself. And that would be my advice to Selena Gomez's fans, to Hailey Bieber's fans, that would be my advice to Hailey Bieber herself, to Selena herself, to Justin. It would just be live your best life. Focus on your own self-growth. Focus on your own education and discovery and exploring this beautiful, brilliant world that we live in. And that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. You know, like, Leave these people's marriage alone because it, it just a marriage is between two people. It's not supposed to be between two people and the husband's ex girlfriend and the entire world. It just doesn't work like that, guys. It just doesn't work. So, what do you guys think in the comments? I, I know with this stuff, I usually don't have the you know most glamorous, glittery opinion on these t types of things, but really, if, if you turn on your empathy hat and you put yourself in the shoes of any of these three people within this situation, Selena, Haley, or Justin, it would be pretty crappy. It would be pretty crappy, you know, and there's, there's whole, the whole question of, you know, Justin and Selena, their sordid past, you know, just go and look up, you know, videos basically of, you know, just problematic stuff with Justin Bieber and Selena or problematic stuff with Justin Bieber and Haley and I'll leave it at that you know everybody has their sort of past who doesn't I literally think on you know I'm not perfect I think on university I think on when I was actually I'm one of those people who really partied hard you know when I was like 16 17 18 you know growing up in Atlanta I remember like craziness like you know, jumping off the second floor of a house to run from the police and um, sneaking out of the house. I mean, I was like wild. I, when I have children, honestly, if they like, if they're like I was during those that 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 part, I would be like, oh my goodness. But that also made me a person since I kind of partied hard early and got it out of the way. Later on, my focus was really cultivating my career. My focus was self-growth and discovering my faith path, you know, getting on the path towards my faith and who I am, loving myself. Like, focus on yourself, guys. Focus on your self-growth and get up out of Selena Gomez, Haley, Kylie, Justin. Just, just give them all a break, okay? So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you next time. Also, if you have not already, remember to click the like and subscribe button. Click the bell so you always know when I post a video. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.